Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, and while we're waiting for parts for the Insignia, we are going to look at this 2006 Mercedes CLC 180 engine, I believe is now very important uh, for what we're going to be doing here. So, the issues with the, this car is, is has been really bad neglected, is is full of little issues. Um, and but the first issue we're going to tackle here, I don't know how many are going to be on video, so I'm not going to really be mentioning them here. But the first issue we're going to try to tackle here is this one. Let me turn the ignition on, and hopefully, that will come up. Okay, so is that one in there? Oh, come on, okay. Uh, SRS restraint system malfunction consult workshop if I start the engine the SRS light will whoops the um, SRS light will remain on I can do it actually so you can see so lots of issues uh, auto lights in operative um, SRS system this is the main issue uh, then there's other things, but uh, I don't know if it's going to be a video for it. So the first issue we're going to tackle is that one. And as you can imagine, the first thing we're going to do is scan the car. Okay, key on. There we go. Okay. So this is a 2006, so it's going to be that one. This is uh, the right hand side. Right hand side. Okay, so there we go. C180. Blah, 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 blah. It's going to go to diagnosis. And we'll go straight to airbags. That's going to be most likely be body. Airbag. That is a little bit low. Read codes. The component, okay, uh, code 9007. Um, the component or signal wire to the component S68 uh, 3. Sorry. The component or signal to the wire to the component S68 4 slash 3 driver seat belt buckle restraint system switch as a short circuit to battery or open circuit. Okay, so let's gonna go back. It's gonna go to some live data. Uh, seat belt buckler, so I'll watch right to this. So S68.3, there we go. So uh, it says connected, not connected, but the seat belt is not connected. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Seat belt is here in my hand. It's not connected. If I normally say it's connected, let's kind of connect to the passenger side so we can see if that changed to connected. So that's correct. Spot on. And my one. So the buckle is working. Is working okay? But it says connected. So let's kind of have a quick look. Uh, do a little bit of inspection, etc., and see what we're gonna find. Okay, that was quick. As soon as I go underneath, I've seen that yellow plug in there. You can see in there. And this cable that I pulled out, and it comes like this. Okay. Oh, crap. Damn it. Okay, so I removed this uh, plug carrier 
that attach under the seat and then from the plex uh, carrier I removed the one that goes for the seat belt okay and we're going to try because the plug is actually oh, let me put it close as possible something like that because the plug is actually broken inside so uh, so how am I going to oh, I know I'm gonna do this I'm gonna have to open this plug to remove what's inside and then try to get it repaired. Sold in second, guys. Okay, let's kind of open this plug here at the back. There we go. Okay, don't break. It's already breaking. Hope it doesn't. Okay, now we need to push these wires out. I don't know exactly what I'm showing you. Probably nothing, but it's going to try. Okay, press again in there, there we go, there we go, the first one, pin is out, now I'm just going to mark, so I know which one is which, <coughs> just going to put here on the side a white, on the yellow, on this side a B for blue, okay? Okay, now we're gonna pull the other one out. Okay, and now here we'll press again. There we go, so that's off. Now we should be able to somehow pull these out. Let's see if I can pull it out with this. Mm. Well done. And he's out. So wait. Okay, now it'll be a little bit tricky to get this done. Will I have a plug for this? I'm gonna look on my stuff, see if I have a plug that fits in here. See if we can get uh, somehow this done. Okay, guys, and I was actually to take you through this, but decided. Uh, phone call and I was talking on the phone and I completely forgot to record anyway so what I've done is I removed the obviously the contacts from inside this plug I found a plug that fits here really snug it fits here really well it really it doesn't clip in because there's no clip in there to obviously lock in place but it goes so tight that it will never come off okay and I remove obviously the the inserts from over there, which the wires are here. I've just cut them up. What's wrong with the phone? Come on! Because so I cut them up, took them out, and I soldered them in there. Okay, on the actually harness. And now I'm going to temporarily connect it to the actually harness that goes to the buckle. Somehow, ignition is off. Somehow, and try to see if we can actually get them to work so I know which wire should plug where. I think they are just a switch, so it should not really make a difference. But I just want to make sure it works before we actually put everything back together. And I don't even need to pause, really. Let's kind of turn ignition on. Like that. It's gonna go here. Oh, come on. To the tool. 
Let's gonna go to seat belt buckles again. Oh, I'm not gonna have to come out of the module. Okay. Hold on. Boom! Look at that! Look at that! That's me. Buckle. As you can see, still just connected like that. Let me get the seat belt. Oh dear. Let me plug it in there. Boom! There we go. So let's kind of put everything properly so we can then delete the codes and that should be it. Okay, and I finished it. So as you can see in there, the plug is all in place. You believe me, it is secured. It's not going to move. It's, it goes in really that tight that it's not going to come off. Plus, I've rooted the cable a little bit better with some cable ties, put the clip back in place, etc, etc. Everything seems snug and proper secured. And now I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to... Battery is getting really low because I've been here with the key on for a little bit. But let's see if I can come back. I'm going to have to come out of the module most likely because otherwise it will not communicate. That's quick. Make sure the codes are now not present. Clear the codes. So read the codes. Okay, let's uh, clear the ETC, so they are stored as you've seen, okay, turn ignition off, just gonna leave it, not really interested in go back. Okay, in the meantime I have, uh, had to do something else, but um, it, it still reported back saying no fault got detected, so let's go into where I have the key, oh dear. Uh, Still have everything there on the floor. Let me get the key. Okay, it's gonna start this and see what happens. Okay, I knew. Battery is low. Damn it. But my airbag light it will not go off until I start the engine. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let me get my battery charger and uh, get this running. Okay, and just jumped the car and got it running. And look at that. No more airbag light. So wait. Okay, so when I close the door, it tells me to put my seat belt. Now we're gonna put the seat belt and make sure. Where's my seat belt? Oh dear, I'm going wrong today. Okay, let's gonna put the seat belt and off we go. So I put it in and out. Sorted. Right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Uh, something really simple in the end, uh, but still. Hope there's some information on this video that you're going to find it useful. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, any comments, put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.